Hey everyone, in this video we're just going to talk about debug logs in Salesforce. So if you've got um, some, some process running and you want to try and find out why it's not working or where it's going wrong, uh, debug logs is a great way to find those problems. So for example, um, inside of our account object here, we've got an Apex trigger that'll run if the opportunity amount is greater than 500,000. It's supposed to be updating the customer priority to high. So I'm just gonna go to opportunity, go to this one here. So this one's 510,000 already. So what I'm gonna do is just update this to, yeah, we'll just update that to five for now, that's fine. Now to find debug logs, you need to go into setup and then just type in debug and you'll see debug logs over here at the bottom inside of environment. Then what you can do is you can just create a new debug log here at the top. So just click new. Then you need to select your, um, depending on what you want to do it on, if it's an automated process, an Apex trigger or Apex class. Um, I'm just going to do it based on a user because I'm going to be triggering this and then select the person that you want for this to happen. I'm just going to select myself. Um, you can select your start date and expiration date. So try not to make this too long because it's going to capture everything that happens in Salesforce. So I'm just going to let this run from now for the next, um, let's say 10 minutes or oh, not 10 minutes five minutes okay now debug level is pretty important as well so if you want to create a new debug level level just click there uh, give it a name I'm just gonna call this one finest so what this is this is basically um, this will show you different kinds of information so depending on what exactly you need if you make it fine finest you'll get a little bit more information if you put none you won't get anything for this specific thing. So you can do it based on database, uh, workflows, validation rules, callouts, and a whole lot of other stuff. So I'm just gonna click on all of these, just go down to finest so, so that I can get as much information as possible. Uh, Visual Force, I don't need, cause I'm not doing that at the moment. Uh, system, and yeah, I'll leave those two as they are and ju just hit save. So now I've got that there. And yeah, that is pretty much it. So now I'm just gonna hit the save button. So all the debug logs will show here below. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna update uh, the, the amount to 520,000. So this should also find my Apex trigger. So if I go to logs here, you'll see that the Apex trigger um, or fire as well okay so now what I'm going to do is go to logs refresh this and you'll see that we've got our log here so you can either download this and check this out in a, in an excel sheet um, normally when you've got a lot of the events happening you'll get quite a few of these so you can download them and compare and look for errors I'm just gonna open up this one here so view so from here you can see everything that's happened um, since since I've basically activated this debug log. So if we scroll down to the bottom, you can see there was one SQL query that went um, and one DML, which is uh, pretty accurate. So if we go to my dev console, we see that I've got a SQL, SQL query at the bottom and I'm doing an update for account. So it looks like this part has worked. Um, just going back to here, let's have a look at the code. So. Normally, something you can do as well is just search for error. So if you just type error there at the top, um, control find, you'll find all the errors in here. But sometimes it might be a little bit harder than that because you're looking for specific error, error messages. So yeah, just having a quick look at all of this, everything looks pretty good. You can see that the customer priority um, was changed to high for this specific account. So if I copy this ID and I go back to Salesforce, I'm just going to go to accounts. I'm just going to open up any one of these ones and put that in there. So that takes me to the specific account. Um, 
and if I scroll down, you'll see that the customer priority is high. So if I go back to my opportunity that I had before, that I updated, you, you'll be able to see that it's the same account name that we've got in our debug log. So yeah, it's a really cool way to, to debug, debug your code and find out what's going on. For example, if this was not working, then we can come in here and try and find the errors for what the problem is. Uh, yeah, if you found this video helpful, please subscribe and check out our other videos. Thanks.